everyone, happy Sunday! Last week I mentioned we would have to wait a bit longer for Explain 12, which is true, and this week we have had Austin showing it off a bit more with the Pro Flight Trainer Puma, but we also have other amazing news. This week was all about Explain, let's get the engine started! <laughs> Proflight Trainer has sent a unit for Michael of X-Force and Austin Meyer of Laminar Research of course to take a look at. The kit is the most complete one with tow brakes and dual throttles. Austin goes through the several controls in a helicopter and then shows the S-76 and the floats equipped R-22 in X-Plane 12. Through its flights Austin shows the shorelines, 3D trees and waves. He gets himself in a bit of a trouble with the R-22 as it struggles against 2.5 feet waves. He can also also watch him go through the calibration process, just keep in mind that he as he centers the controls to end the calibration, he doesn't mention that you don't need to center the collective throttles and the toe brakes, you will only need to do it for the cyclic and pedals. On another side note, Austin also got the throttle working in opposite direction that it should, keep that in mind if you are setting things up for yourself. You can watch the video on our article, the link in the video description as well. Fellow virtual LAPD pilots can now have a virtual home in X-Plane. After the release for Microsoft Flight Simulator, Inibuilds brought the famous Hooper Heliport to the sim. As per the Microsoft Flight Simulator release, not only you are getting the Heliport building, which is nicely populated, you are also getting up a couple of bridges to fly over and under, as well as a Metro HQ building and more. This release is a highly detailed representation of Hooper Heliport, complete with two helipads which can use as starts, 16 parking places, detailed clutter, active wing sock, the Cesar Chavez in San Bernardino Bridges and the Metro HQ building with a helipad. Inibuilds also recreated the adjacent railroad and train carriages as well as the Union Station. Check out the link in the video description to find out where to get this scenery. x has released a minor update for their H145 for X-Plane. While still not bringing the helicopter to version 1.0, the update comes with quite a few fixes and new small features. This helicopter was released in December last year and the team has been silent, which was something to be expected. Real life has a tendency to get in the way of fun stuff. So the guys go as they manage and when the H145 was released, it was clear that the whole project took a toll on them. Add this to the fact that one of the guys had had some harsh health problems and you can have somewhat of a perfect storm. This led me to be surprised really when they reached out to me saying that there was an update coming and I saw the changelog. There are quite a few things in it which means they were very busy and despite time constraints managed to cover quite a few fixes and even add small features. You can check out the link in the video description for the full changelog and the download link. Keep in mind it is quite a big update. If you missed our previous news check out our playlist with all the weekly flyby videos. I will see you on those videos or next week for another episode of the weekly flyby until then take care and fly safe